Hey YouTubers, Robot Skater 143 with another Predator figure review. Um, today I had the Predator 2 Predator figures. Um, kind of hard to say. Me and Matt McFarlane based off the movie Predator 2, of course. Um, it's supposed to be the same Predator, and they made two versions of it. Um, one's the Battle Damage, which is the one on the left, and um, the regular angry open mouth version, which is on the right. I got these two on eBay for a great price, 40 bucks, and they came together. And they came complete except the closed mouth version, or one of them didn't come with like a trophy of a head or something. I, I don't know, nothing big though. Um, 40 bucks for both of these, so 20 bucks each, when usually one of them uh, nowadays, I think they each go for about 30 up to 30 and up for each, so I got it for a pretty good deal. Um, and they came pretty much complete. Uh, they both came with a. Uh, Tri tray disc, tra smart disc, I don't know what you want to call them. They both came with one, um, nicely detailed, I mean, it's got some nice, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got some nice detail on it, I mean, it goes in his hands, that's what the holes are for, so his fingers can go in there and stuff, but, um, he holds it pretty nice, and there's also a place on their side of their leg here, they both have it in the same location too, right here, I don't know if you can see it with the light, but right there, and it just snaps in there. And yeah, there we go. Great for display purposes. Um, and this guy never wants to stand up. The other one's fine, and then this one never does. Alright, there we go. And uh, they both come with one. It's pretty much the same, so... Um, I mean, they're they're pretty sturdy. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm pretty sure they won't break on you. But, um, but, I mean, they're made out of solid plastic, so... Pretty good. Pretty cool. And it fits in the hands perfectly, so it's so it's a pretty good accessory. And the closed mouth uh, closed mouth version um, comes with a mask that came attached to his uh, head with like a wire, except the wire wasn't long enough to go on his head, so I just cut it off. And um, it, lo it looks I think it looks better cut off because so when you want to display with his mask off, so it's not dangling by his shoulder and it looks stupid because that, obviously that's not where they put their mask. Um, but um, it's a pretty basic looking mask, but it looks, it just looks really good on him. And the way you just put on him is just like, just put it on his head. There we go. Um, and it, it, it looks pretty movie accurate, actually. That's how the mask looked. Um, pretty basic, basically painted. Um, it's got a nice shiny coat to it, though, so it, it looks pretty cool. And um, it goes on pretty good, and but it doesn't stay on very well. I mean, for display pur purposes, like on a shelf or something, it fits perfectly. I mean, like... It, it like stays on pretty good but if you want to move it around for stop motions one little touch and uh, it comes flying off well I hit it a little hard but so, it depends sometimes it stays on really good sometimes uh, it just it takes like a fly to land on it and it falls off um, see it, it sometimes it has problems uh, going on too I wish it like snapped on but either way it, once you get it on it stays on pretty well um, that, I think that one's pretty, uh, a pretty good thing to have, like, the mask coming on and off. That's, I think that's the only Predator figure up to now by all the companies, except Hot Toys, of course, that can do that. I'm trying to think, yeah, I think that is. I think that's the only Predator that's mask can come on and off, that besides Hot Toys, but between NECA and McFarland. So, um, but, uh, oh yeah, these two are made by McFarland, so older but it's still it's still a uh, good looking and then the open mouth one that won't stand up okay I'm just gonna hold him all right here um he comes with this uh I don't like oh is it staff stick I don't know but it's it's pretty cool because it can extend except it's not very well made so it can come apart like that and um but if you do it gently it stays it's got three points where it can extend, which which is actually a pretty cool feature to have. Um, and then it's it's pretty long. And here's the figure itself. And, um, you want to stand up? Oh my god, stubborn. All right, there we go. Here. And it's about it's as a little bigger than uh, a couple of inches taller than the figure himself. And he, he he holds it pretty nicely, depending on how you put it in there. But he can he can hold it pretty good. Um, but it takes a while to get into it. Very cool thing that to have the staff come out and extendable, but it's not very well made. If they made it better, it would have been the coolest thing ever. Um, 
Okay, but anyways, they're pretty much the same figure except with a different head, and this one's the battle damage uh, version. At Towards the end of the movie, he's got his shotgun blast in his stomach. Um, his wrist can split off, um, like in the movie. And it, it looks pretty cool, except for the holes. I really wish they would have painted it green or something with the blood splatter, so it's not noticeable that it's there's holes there and stuff, but what are you going to do? Um, this figure is actually pretty good, but there are a few minor setbacks that kind of make it and eh, like it could have been better. Okay, well, um, I'm just going to do articulation on this guy because there, it has the same body articulation and everything. Um, articulation, the head is ball joint, so it can pretty much move around freely. Um, and then it's got a uh, plasma caster, um, and that can, the top can spin 360 degrees, and like in the back, it's kind of ball joint, so it can go... Um, up and down and stuff so and then it goes down pretty nicely so it's down to his side out like, and then it just comes back up it's actually a pretty cool feature um, they had some unique things on this predator which makes it very cool um, but yeah and then for the shoulders it can go in and out like you know what I mean and then the shoulder itself is ball joint so it can go out and down and then it can go kind of like that, like I said. And then, um, the only articulation in the elbow is swivel. Kind of disappointing, but I, I would love to see, like, him be able to bend, but whatever. Then the hand, it, you can swivel 360 degrees around. And then his, uh, wrist blade can come out with, like, a little level. Except it doesn't come out very far. Same with the other one. They both have the same wrist blade, and they barely come out. It's like, okay, really wish they made those longer. Um... Then, uh, same with the other arm. The, arm. the other arm has the same articulation. And then the body uh, actually can, the top part can can spin a little and go up and down. Then the bottom waist can spin 360 degrees around. Um, then the legs uh, are ball joint, so they can go all around. The thigh can spin 360 degrees around. The knee can bend. Uh, and then the foot is like, uh, can just go up and down. So not bad for articulation wise, um, but the, it's the detail. Um, here, here's on to the detail. The detail on on this is oh, is pretty good overall. I gotta admit. Okay, the detail on this is pretty good except for a couple of parts. Um, I mean the face. The face. I don't know if you can see it too well on the camera, but the face just looks really good. Here, I'll try and bring it closer. But the face just looks amazing. Uh, same with the other one too. Except I think the closed mouth version has more detail on it. Uh, more detail on the, like, tentacle. I don't know what they're called. Um, but it just looks amazing. Same with the dreadlocks. Dreadlocks uh, fit his head, and it looks pretty cool. It looks like the Predator's dreadlocks. Nothing like uh, their Celtic one, where it was just kind of rubber or hard plastic and stuff. So Then the armor shows some wear, and... Um, Looks pretty good all over the place. And it's got some nice detail on the shoulders. Uh, nice little spikes and everything. Then the skin has great detail on it. Um, it's got a drawn on net uh, that sticks out a little. I really wish they would use real nets, but whatever. Um, great detail all over the place. And he's got bumps and, and scale, or not scales, but just bumps and muscles all over his body. And uh, you can see his blood. It looks pretty good. Looks accurate to the predator's blood, um, even down here. And uh, the the wrist thingy can't flip open on this one, but on the on the open mouth version it can. Except they made a mistake and it opens the wrong way. So yeah, you should have checked that. But on but it's it's pretty cool once you get past that. Um, inside it's got, like, the predator numbers, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's got some, uh, glowing numbers, which looks pretty, pretty cool and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna continue the detail on this one. Um, and the detail on this face, it still looks pretty good, you know. It's got that, like, greasy, uh, shiny look to it, which makes it look that much better, I think. Um... And then his, his, you can't see his eyes because they're really small, but but they, they, they're they really detailed too. They pretty much have the same detail, except this one's got um, blood on it. And I think this one's a little browner. I don't, I don't know if that 
there's a word browner. Um, I feel it's got it's a little darker than the closed mouth version, which I think looks better because it matches his head tone and everything. This one, it, I mean, it still looks good, but it's a little lighter. I, I would have rather have seen the darker skin on the closed mouth one too. But um, then the legs just have the netting drawn on as well. But um, yeah, nice detail on the feet. Nice bottom. Um, bottom of the feet detail, wrinkles, and nice toes, and a heel, heel toe, I guess, I don't, I don't know what they're called, it doesn't have pegs, so it doesn't come with a stand, um, but they stand up pretty good by themselves, um, I'm, it's on a carpet right now, that's probably why it's not staying up too well, but, um, yeah, they stand up pretty well, they're pretty good figures overall, um, if you were asking me which one to get, if if you could only get one, I would probably say go with the closed mouth version because he comes with the mask and you can pose him. He's pretty much the same as the other one. But um, I, I would get the closed mouth version over the open mouth because I just think he looks a little cooler and he's got the mask feature and the removable hand feature. So I, I, I think he's the better deal. But... Uh, here's the flaw of these figures, besides the wrong way of the opening of the wrist thing. Um, at the shoulders, um, at both shoulders, and this is on both. So, um, at both shoulders, there's a lacking of paint on each shoulder. It's like they forgot to paint it, and it really sticks out showing. So, it's not like it's hidden very well. I don't know if you can see it too well on my camera, but... Yep, it's, it's there, and you can't really... Yeah, see, right there. It's not really painted. It's just plain, and uh, kind of, kind of annoying how they didn't paint that. Same down here. See, they didn't paint that, and it sticks out pretty noticeably. And it's kind of disappointing to see that this these figures have so many errors on them. But um, I really wish NECA would make some. I would love to see how NECA would pull off the Predator Two ones, since they're since they kind of went back and pulled off like the original ones and. And stuff. I, I like to see how how they uh, would pull off the Predator Two ones. I, and then a little height, um, little height thing. These things are about eight inches tall, I think, seven inches, between there. And um, to compare it, it's here. That's the Grid Alien. And here, let me stand this guy up on straight up. There we go. And yep, the, he's a little. They're about the same size, actually. Um, I think the alien's a little taller because of his head, but, yeah, they're about the same size, so about 7-8 inches. Pretty nice looking figure, I gotta admit. But once again, like I said, if, if you had to choose one, I would choose the closed mouth version. He's just got cooler, um, he's just got a cooler feature and everything. And, uh, although the open, uh, the open mouth one does come with this cool spear, um, I, I still go with the closed mouth, but if you had a choice, um, but if you got a chance to get both, I would get both there. Although they have some errors, they're not the greatest figures in the world, they're still pretty good, uh, pretty good figures, and they're pretty great. They got some unique things to them, like their, uh, plasma caster, and, uh, their, his staff, and the removable wrist, and the removable mask, um, so they're pretty good figures overall. With those few errors, I gotta give it a three and a half out of five for both of them except I might bump up the mask uh, the closed mouth version to a four out of five because of the the removable wrist and the removable mask and it looks really good on him by the way and the and they're kinda of really articulated you can pose them in many ways they stand up pretty good because they have flat feet they're just on carpet right now so that's probably why they're not standing up too well so they come with really cool features really cool things and um, if you get a chance I would go out and buy these um, I wouldn't spend over 50 bucks for each, though. They're not worth that kind of money, but if, if, if that's, if, if it, if it's worth it to you, be my guest. But, um, yep, if, it, these are definitely for any collector, any Predators fan, any McFarlane fan, so, great, it would look great to any collection. Um, not many people have these, and, uh, they just look really great. So, hope you guys enjoyed this review, um, and until next time. Peace. And please rate good and subscribe if you want to. And that would be really helpful. And go check out my other rev uh, reviews and videos. Be really, uh, really appreciated. So until next time, I'll see you guys. And until next time, peace.